we got to talk about Hey Big Mike, because this is a big one. We brought him up yesterday, and I woke up this morning to... Well, not this morning. No, I put up the video about Hey Big Mike. Remember this? I put up the video. Uh, let me just pull this up a real one second. YouTube. Dot com. And we knew, you know, Big Mike listens to every fucking drip of this show now, which goes against everything he claims about himself. Here's Hey Big Mike, and I put up the video, Mike responds. Now, people think, oh, he blocked you on Instagram. You must have been bothering him. No, no, no. This was an Instagram block because of a video. This would be like if you were banned from Patreon for saying nigger in Indiana. <laughs> Did you hear about this? I didn't even say nigger on Patreon. I said it when I was in Indiana visiting a friend at a gas station. <laughs> oh, sorry. Patreon heard about that and they banned you from the platform. This is similar to that. Big Mike has banned me from Instagram like an hour after our video was released called Big Mike Responds. So he probably ran to Logan Paul. This is what I imagine happened. Logan Paul has been telling him every day you know, to please stop bothering me with this. Stop worrying about the haters. I mean, Logan doesn't do this. Logan's got haters. He doesn't sit there like this all day. Well, Big Mike sits in that little guest room on the floor, right, with the blankie on, and he's constantly checking comments and checking these videos about himself. And then when he gets up and joins the boys for breakfast, he's like, oh, just got done with some killer business meetings on my phone. I oh, woke up. Started killing it, started making... But in reality, he's just checking our comments. Okay, In reality, he's just watching these things. It, it, that's been blown wide open. So he probably ran to Logan Paul immediately. Logan, Logan, look, they're doing it. And he's like, dude, what did I tell you, man? You got to stop this. Seriously, just block the fucking guy already. This is like annoying me. And especially, again, after everything Logan's been through, to have this guy bitch about this... You're basically bitching because I'm doing an impression of you. I don't even have any cancellation Compared thing. Compared to what poor little Logie yeah. Bear has been through. So then he goes, you're right, you're right, you're right. I'll block him. Fuck it. I'm blocking anyone from his world. And he blocked me. I didn't do nothing. And then he started blocking and these started rolling in. Mike, I've been blocked by Big Mike too. And I go, what'd you do? I left the puke emoji on his Instagram. <laughs> So he's blocking anybody who leaves. This is Andrew Santino territory. When we were writing Italy, block, block, block. Unfortunately, this works and we'll be out of his hair. He'll, he won't even know we exist soon. So we got to come up with a better plan now to get back at him, right? We got to come up with like a college style prank. This blocking just can't go. You can't just block us. You can't get rid of us like that, right? I can't believe that it took this long, to be honest with you. Well, some yeah. people refuse to block. Like, there's some people from, like, The Bachelor. Well, let's talk that about Mike that. Mike comments the craziest stuff on, like, every single picture well, they no. post for years. Big and Mike. Still we could just use him. Big Mike as that example. I've been messing with Big Mike on Instagram, and I've been doing this to Big Mike for years or for however long. Why don't some of these guys block? If you're going to ultimately block anyway, why not block on the first offense? It's so weird to me. What is going on with, like, big-time people? They don't want to block. They do this thing where they hate trolls. You've even seen them block other trolls, right? But then they don't block me. Is it, like, so they could keep tabs on me? Like, here's a good example. Tony Hinchcliffe does not block me. Now, he's either doing a thing where he's like, I got to show people that I don't even care. Is that what it is? Like, if I block him, he'll know that I care. Can't show any sign of winning. Can't show any of that. If I block him, he'll know. I think that's what it comes down to, right? But if you're going to ultimately block me, then all of that was meaningless, right? All of that tough guy talk, all of that, like, uh, you know, plan, the 3D chess you were doing with not blocking me. You it's might as well just do it from day one. You might as well have done it from day one. We beg that you don't. Again, I ain't a harasser. I don't bother people on Instagram. I leave one stealth comment and I'm out of there. I can see if you're constantly going at somebody, they block you because you're like on their nerves. I always say like, it's human nature. If somebody comes up to you and they go, you're a faggot. Well, you could ignore that, right? But if someone comes up to you and they go, you're a faggot and they hit you in the nose, 
You're a faggot. Faggot. I bet, yeah, you could punch that guy. That's okay. <laughs> He's, you're going to go crazy. He's annoying the fuck out of you. You're a faggot, 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 faggot. Imagine if some guy was doing that to your nose. So I could even see in a world where if you're constantly just bothering someone, yeah, you block them like you'd swat a fly. It's the same thing like, ah, these mosquitoes. That's different than just blocking somebody because they said something you don't like. I don't do that second thing. I don't DM people that we make fun of on this show. I leave a comment for the audience. I never, you know, there's another thing too. I'm not leaving these comments to hurt the people. A lot of people just want to hurt the guy. I leave the comment. It's more for the audience. I want people to see what people I see think. a big Mike pick. They want to yeah. know what Mike thinks about yeah, it. Yeah, it's the for the section. audience. It's for all the people saying big Mike's amazing. Big Mike's amazing. I like to get in there and go, no, he's not amazing. Here's why. Okay. It's it, again, it goes back to that thing where it's like, I don't hate, I wouldn't hate big Mike. I wouldn't talk about big Mike if he didn't have a million followers. It's the million followers part that makes him a big problem. So uh, to be blocked for making a video, that's uh, rather horrendous. And then he's blocking all the barf people. We need people. I was saying, you know, I've been blocked by so many of these Instagram guys. Chris D'Elia, Andrew Santino, Brian Redband. I mean, the list goes on and on. I can't keep up with my fools. Most of my fools watching happens during these subtle moments you know seeing their instagram stories seeing their posts when i don't see their posts i might have to come up with a you should just make another account where another you another account yeah. all the people that block you. i'm gonna have to do what drew michael did i have a bogey account that's what he called it a i never bogey? i was so sickened when he told me i that. like that bogey. no you don't listen uh drew michael years ago goes yeah i was using my bogey account to see what this girl was up to and i go boat I'm like so against secret alt accounts to use. Like, you gotta play fair. Somebody blocks you, you gotta take that block. Or ask a friend. But to come up with a fake account and infiltrate and pretend you're somebody else, I get it, you're getting what you want, but that's unfair, right? You gotta have some, things have to be fair. You can't just cheat. So I don't like both. I don't have any alt accounts. I don't like any fake accounts. None of that. Absolutely not. I'm against it. Um, and uh, I wish people would be too. And you know, it's so funny because if you're not against it, there are guys out there that I even consider friends. They probably got like 13 fake accounts that they use to People do it, man. I bet Big Mike's got fake. I bet these guys that I make fun of have fake accounts that come into Maybe here. Maybe we should start making fake accounts. No. It's not even a question. I find that to be... I can't do despicable <laughs> Even if acts. I wanted to make a bunch of fake accounts, imagine the work that that would take. Logging in and out. Well, there's that. And even if you get used to it, it you know that it's dirty play, right? Like, like it doesn't you feel good. every time that you post that you're going to do some sort of mess up that gets you exposed? And again, like, uh, I feel like my comment means nothing unless it comes from me. You know, I want it to come from me. When I say something nasty on someone's Instagram, the whole point is they're hearing it from me. That's what makes it fun for me. Not that it's just some old exactly, thing. Exactly, because if like, you're saying it from no one, then Yeah, I mean, what's, what's going on? Why are you so afraid to say it from your uh, own account?